Even though the United States has declared victory over the economic recession there, unemployment remains high. Correspondent Alexandra Hall reports on how for some the recession in the United States continues. 257,000 new jobs were created in January. Unemployment is consistently under 6%. Many would say the economy is improving. But tell that to Isaac Cook, who's been looking for a job for four months. Armed with a high school diploma and some college, he says it's been difficult to compete. Most of the people that I see that get jobs are already professional or they're fresh out of college. They have degrees and stuff for whatever position they're applying for. Or Daiwa Jones, who moved to Washington from Atlanta for seasonal employment with UPS. Once the holidays were over in December, he was let go. It's kind of hard out here right now. I know a lot of people they get hired on because they're doing a lot of construction, but I don't have skills in construction. It's mostly the warehouse of general labor. In January, the unemployment rate reached 5.7%. But critics say that it doesn't tell the whole story because it ignores those who have given up looking for work and doesn't consider the severely underemployed. We know that the economy is growing and jobs are coming back, but it's really mostly a recovery at the top. We know that unemployment continues to be high for people who don't have the most advanced educations and lots of people are staying out of work longer and are uh, finding part-time work when they really would rather work full-time. While the Obama administration wages its latest campaign to strengthen middle-class economics, cost of living steadily rises in major U.S. cities. In Washington, D.C., it takes a salary of $104,000 to live comfortably. If the recession is over, who was the recession over for? Who was it helping? It seems like the upper class because if you're making $104,000, you're not middle class. Four years into a recession recovery, long-term unemployment rates are still higher than they were before the economic crisis. For these workers, the recession continues. Alexandra Hall, Telesur, Washington.